So remember those transoms that I showed you? Look how beautiful it is, all nice and painted. Come on into this powder room. I remember I showed you before we used the wood tile for the flooring. Great big baseboards. We went with a deeper, darker shade of a muddy gray on the walls. And then I selected more contemporary art. The art's from Z Gallery, actually. So come on in here, let me show you this amazing toilet. I know, who does videos on toilets? Okay, so I do. But I just think this has got such clean, beautiful lines. It was fun to do in a bathroom like this. Isn't this pretty? Beautiful fuchsia, and this is artificial. Looks real, if you ask me. On the back here, you'll see we used glass doorknobs, which is always fun in a bathroom. And then I did some inexpensive contemporary art from Z Gallery. Mixed it with some different colors of towels to make something a little unexpected and very pretty. And then the last thing is up here, you'll see that we bought this beautiful mirror and we actually attached our light fixture directly onto the mirror. We took the mirror in and had a round hole cut out so that the J box could be accessed through the mirror and that piece could be added on top. I think that's a fabulous light bar. And then on down here to this great custom vanity sink with beautiful faucets, under mount sink, beveled edge to the granite, and then look at this. This is this great custom piece that I designed, and I love the little details of the, the pokey, you know, extra pieces of molding. But these knobs are knobs that we had my iron guy actually make specifically for us, and we chrome plated them. And look, we have to have a place for the plumbing to go through the sink to be accessed. However, my custom cabinetry guy makes that for me with a hole so that we can still have beautiful drawers. I think this one, yeah, this one's stationary. This is the only one that works, but isn't that cool? Makes for a really, really beautiful powder room, something special. Let me take you on into the living room. I love this room. Remember when I showed you that this room used to have two windows when you first walked in and we had a focal point and I paneled them over, well this is how it turned out. Do you love this? So we have four custom made upholstered chairs with beautiful espresso wood that goes you know, all the way around, it's all hand carved in this slate gray blue velvet. These are the most comfortable chairs, let me just tell you. And how cool do they look? Hmm, do I look okay in them? Beautiful paneling. This is a Barbara Berry mirror, which I absolutely love, the Starburst mirror. And it was such a fun thing to be able to include in this project. I designed the paneling to be the exact shape that we would need for this to fit on here perfectly. And remember me telling you about the sconces? Look at these. These sconces are made of beautiful acrylic with the square shades. I think they turned out fabulous. This is a wonderful coffee table that has iron base that's done in a gold faux finish, kind of an antiqued gold with a glass top. And I love the geometric shape of the table itself that you can see through. We put a really nice tray on the top that's got a leather base to it. These are silk flowers, although I think they look real. And the trick with these uh, artificial flowers to make them look real is to have the ones that are done with the resin. This is resin and it looks like water. And so it always looks fresh. The client already owned this beautiful table and it was sort of what we started with, with the style for this room. I bought a glass, actually it's a crystal, lead crystal uh, lamp. This is from Neiman Marcus catalog or Neiman Marcus online. And then these window treatments have to be one of my favorite things about this room. This fabric, well the sun is coming in this time of day pretty strong, but this fabric is silk and it's heavily lined and interlined so that it lays beautifully. We've done a beautiful simple goblet pleat at the top with silver chrome rings glass finials on the ends, and a deeper, almost gray, silver, uh, pewter-looking rod that goes across. We ordered a gorgeous Tibetan rug that's handmade, and that pretty much tops this room off perfectly. We come over to another rug that goes very nicely with it, but is not exactly the same. And remember me telling you that we were gonna use our client's already existing dining room furniture. Well, this is what it is. 
I had it ghost coated. Now you hear me talk about ghost coating a lot, but remember, this was a very orangey, rusty color table before. And if you get up here close, I hope you'll be able to see that you can still see the wood grain through it. We had the chairs reupholstered and this fabulous fabric. Let me show this to you. This fabric has this fabulous fan leaf effect in the cream color on the outside, bronze up the center, and this is sort of that grayed out blue color of a linen in the background, which ties in the color of those chairs over there. And perhaps my favorite thing in this whole dining room, besides these fabulous curtains, the window treatments that come and they are placed up here on the rounded effect with lights specifically on each window treatment. But my favorite thing is this chandelier. I'm sorry, but I have to tell you, <laughs> I think it is the most beautiful light fixture I've ever used on any home, anytime, anywhere, ever. This is just so gorgeous. It is made with all these different shapes and sizes of crystals. Some of them are actually like, I don't know, they're, I don't know, I didn't even know what it's crystallized maybe. Some of them are Savorsky crystals. They're different shapes, even the amber color in this wire mesh kind of a, um, I don't know, looks like a basket sort of effect. And what I love about this is the finish changes. It goes from chrome to uh, a faux antique brass and bronze to crystal to a, a shiny brass. It's just got every kind of finish on that one light fixture you can imagine. And then this is how the built-in turned out. As I mentioned before, we did put in this beautiful mesh in the doors. Wonderful hardware. And each one of these shelves lights up individually. So it's a, just such a pretty effect. And in here, this is our client's grandmother's teapot. So we use that so she could enjoy that. And this is something that the client really loved is a swan. She loves swans. So this is just a simple poster, but we had it very nicely matted and framed at a custom framing store. And that adds a lot of class to something that is maybe in and of itself isn't an expensive piece, but it makes it look like it's a much nicer piece. And then on over here, remember I showed you where we put mirrors all across these walls here and the ceiling is paneled in the wood. Look at these gorgeous light fixtures, how the uh, fixture itself sends light up on top of the wood paneling and just looks so rich. This is another piece of the clients. It was actually taller than this. We had the legs taken off because it was like this tall. It was too tall for here. And again, ghost coated. I also changed the knobs out from something very traditional looking to something that's much, much, much more blingy. Come look closely. You're gonna like this. That looks like it'd be on your finger, doesn't it? It's a piece of jewelry for a cabinet. And then, to top it all off, Perhaps the best part of this whole room, in my never to be humble opinion, is this fantastic custom commissioned painting done by Grayson, my assistant, who uh, tends to get to do a lot of paintings for our projects. And this is what he did here. Our client loves calla lilies. And I think this just turned out so, so beautifully. Didn't he do a nice job? So back down to this entryway, you'll see that we have an entry bench, a velvet and a silk satin pillow sitting on top of this great geometric fabric, which we repeat again in the family room on the window treatments. And we've got again, this very similar cut back that we used in the kitchen nook area right here. So it sits against the mirror, makes for a nice little place when you first walk in the door to when you greet people, you can put people's purses there. You can even sit here and wait. And you can say, honey, are you ready? Let's go. Oh wait, that would be the men who would be sitting here saying that. Yeah, that's usually how it works in my house. All right, so I hope this has been helpful for you to see the details of this home, how it came together. And now I want you to see the before and after photos. I hope you enjoy. See you next time.
Yeah.